Here's the controversial part. Some of this is IMV's fault. Some of this is my fault. Yo, please stick around to the end of the video. I have an announcement and some I need some feedback on. Don't worry, this video should not be too long. So as I say in every single IMV gaming video since becoming an investor, I am an investor in Immaculate Vision Gaming. I became an investor in February of 2018. I invested several thousands of dollars. I have disclosed this in many videos and I still have the post from last February up on my Instagram account right now. I became an investor because I wanted to put my money where my mouth was. I was already making videos on the company. I was working with the company trying to help them spread the word about bringing the game back. I decided I wanted to make sure I was supporting the company financially in a big way relative to my funds. So that's what I did. And although the company is going through some muddy waters and some tough times right now, I do not regret my investment, at least not from a financial aspect. One part where it does get frustrating being an investor and a person who covers the company on YouTube is that I oftentimes cannot legally talk about certain things that are going on behind the scenes. Making a video on non-public information is considered leaked information, which could lead to a potential lawsuit and is also just counterproductive as it creates distrust and ruins certain relationships with businesses that IMV is trying to work with. So I would literally be working against myself in every single way by coming out leaking info before that info is meant to become public. So that is the frustrating part about being an investor. So this thing I'm about to talk about next is something that I have known was coming for a little while, but I was unable to talk about it until now. Let's get it. So IMV has filed the lawsuit against a cat named Tony Bruno. This cat, oddly enough, has dedicated a pretty large portion of his life to just trying to bring IMV down. And I'm not being dramatic. I'm not joking. Like this man literally runs a website specifically aimed at slandering IMV, also runs a Twitter account that pretty much does the exact same thing. In the early days, he bought the domain, bring back greatness, IMV's mantra. He went, bought the domain, then tried to sell it back to IMV, which is clearly, you know, that's shady behavior at the very least. When they wouldn't buy the domain back from him, he was like, cool, I'll just use the site to basically slander your name at every single turn that I get. And that's exactly what he's done. They've even had to call the cops on this dude in the past for making statements that could come across as threats. And you gotta take this stuff serious on the internet, man. These people out here are crazy as hell. Everything they do, he says, is a scam or is fake. This is a scam, it's fake. Oh, this lawsuit that you served me? Oh, this isn't real. It. The lawsuit has been filed. You can look it up. Links in the description. Now, when I talked to Alex and he told me that this one dude was holding up progress, I was like, bro, how is this one dude holding up progress? It didn't make any sense to me. What he told me was the companies that they were potentially looking to partner with are very concerned about this type of thing. And if you think about it, back when the YouTube adpocalypse happened, it was kind of something similar to this. It was one writer, granted for a much more credible source, but one writer who misrepresented comments made by a YouTuber and boom, a whole bunch of companies start pulling ads and y'all remember that whole process. I had to start driving Uber around that time. And the companies were basically telling IMV, if you can't protect yourself from this slander, we're not gonna move forward. Thus, the lawsuit, you know what I'm saying? So based on my understanding, that's the reason they had to file the lawsuit. They have to show that they can defend themselves against this slanderous behavior. Also, when you think about it, a large part of what IMV brings to the table, at least was their social media cachet. So when you got a guy on the internet specifically just bashing them and taking some of that cachet and turning it into negativity, I can see where that could be a concern for some of these potential companies. Here's the controversial part. Some of this is IMV's fault. Some of this is my fault. What do I mean by that? Well, as I think back as to how we started this thing, we started it by immediately going public. The thought process was go directly to the audience because they started out, they were just a part of the audience that wanted the game back and they already knew how many people wanted the game back also. So they went straight to the source, partnered with YouTubers like myself and some other guys to help to spread the word. Did the Kickstarter, it failed. Went back, tried the insider program, did a little bit better. And I honestly don't know that there was a better way that these guys 
could have actually gotten it done just due to a lack of connections or whatever like that at least in the beginning the social media cachet that they were able to create allowed them to get in the same room with these bigger investors whereas before they weren't able to do that but but it then created a relationship with that audience and with the public you know what i'm saying and like an expectation to get information on what the hell is going on understandably because the relationship was built on that foundation however once they started to sit down with these companies and the companies was like well listen man yeah you could throw up an indie game but what we could really do it'll be super easy to get these guys to come in you guys have everything and we can create a triple a quality game and so they kind of moved the goal line and started to go for that that prolonged things created a lot more issues and i still to this day don't know if it was the right move Time will tell if we're able to get a triple A quality game out at some point in the next couple years, then it's a win. If not, then it's going to be a failure. We'll have to wait and see. This thing has been a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. It's taken a lot longer than I thought it would take just to begin development. That is, but I do still have faith that we can make it work. With that said, you know, some got to shake soon. I envy my dudes, but I don't agree with every single thing they do, like privatizing the Twitter account. That didn't make any sense to me. But from my understanding, that was based on like legal counsel that they got that to privatize it up until the uh, lawsuit went live. I still think it was a bad look, but hey, that's completely out of my control. With that said, I got a lot of questions and concerns. And I know y'all got a lot of questions and concerns as well because y'all have invested as well so what i'm gonna be doing i'm gonna hop on a plane in the upcoming weeks and i'm gonna go sit down with imv get an on-camera interview and ask every single question raise every concern that i have and i also want to get all of y'all's questions and all of y'all's concerns all right so leave those in the comments section now i am not gonna stray away from the hard questions but i will stray away from like the troll questions you feel what i'm saying like i think y'all know the difference i don't even have to explain the difference in a real hard question and a troll question like i think y'all get it so leave your questions like i said that's going to be in the next week or two i'm going to be making that happen and bringing as much information as i can to you guys all right other than that that's all i got for y'all right now my name is film Love raps wow. yeah, no quitter, I'm a go, I'm a go, I'm a go again.